Next question is from Ethan Neitzel. What are great exercises to improve your vertical jump? You know what's funny about this? Had you asked me this 10 years ago, my answer would be focused around building power and strength. Yeah. And that would be improve your vertical yeah. jump. Then I, I, I met all technique. Th yeah, then I met PJ Performance, but great Instagram page, really, really smart guy. This is his expertise. And he would improve people's verticals by tremendous amounts. And most of it was technique of jumping, yeah. mm -hmm. the skill of jumping. Yep. And of course, this makes perfect sense. Jumping, running, throwing a ball, throwing a punch. There's a lot of skill and technique involved. And if you maximize the efficiency of your movement and maximize your technique, the dividends that'll pay you back are tremendous. So I would say that's the most important thing. Oh, then I, you can look at building strength. I and totally agree. Power. And I've had clients like this too. Where I feel a little bit guilty because I was approaching it with that same mentality. Oh, we need to do some, some power cleans or we need to yeah. do some explosive type exercises with weight in order to get them to then have that effect where um, they're going to have this like recoil effect. They're going to jump higher, you know, by default. But if I would have known all these like very specific types of biomechanic techniques uh, to approach the jump to, uh, you know, get a better stride, uh, you, you know, lots of things that he teaches on there in terms of like, you know, even how to land and how to, you, you know, decelerate properly and uh, you know how to control your body better how to have like the proper mobility so it allows uh, you know the full the full range of motion capacity that uh, you know your joints can go through so you know that has a lot more value to me now than the strength training part of it well I'm, I'm gonna redeem you guys a little bit though here because I I was a kid who played basketball and I never squatted as a young kid yeah and later on in my early 20s, uh, I began to squat. I began more motivated to, you know, be a buff guy, right? And I was playing less and less basketball. And I began squatting for like the first time in my life. And I, you know, back then, like 225 actually was a lot of weight to squat for me. And I'd worked up to that. And I remember I hadn't played basketball in a pretty extended period of time. And, you know, then I got out there with the buddies to do it and I could throw down and I could throw down like way. I could, I could barely like once a season, I could, at the peak of the season when I have worked on my technique and I was lean, could get up there and kind of dunk it. Yeah. I drop step two hand dunked it and was like, it blew me away how much, you know, training the squat actually did improve my vertical. Oh yeah, you keep the technique the same and you get stronger. Of course. So yeah. yeah. Yes. So I just so want getting stronger is a fact. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. I just want to make that clear to yeah. someone who's listening right now. If you're a, that's a good point. If you're not doing any sort of strength training and you build the strength, the explosive power by, from like a squat, it, like for somebody, you will see that translate into your vertical. Now that being said. Uh, if you are not following uh, Paul Fabritz, which is PJF Performance, if you're not following uh, Max Smarzo, which I believe that's un is it under his name? I think it is uh, Max Smarzo, mm -hmm. and also our buddy Corey uh, Corey with, Schlesinger. Corey Schlesinger, the three of them. Corey is the uh, sp sports performance coach for the Phoenix Suns, which are kicking ass right now, right? So if you're not paying attention to him, you're you're losing on this battle too. And then also, I think Paul yeah. is one of the the greatest strong thinkers. by sciences. Thank uh, you. Max and and Max and Paul our business partners. So those three guys, I think, are leading the way in uh, sp basketball specific sports performance, although that translates into other sports. Mm -hmm. So if you are an athlete or you're interested in that, uh, those guys are a wealth of knowledge. I've learned a ton of, from just following them. I remember I found Paul when he had like less than 10,000 followers. I remember showing Justin Look at this guy. This guy's got incredible content yeah. and he puts out. Well, the fire. point, I guess, and, and and I'm glad you brought that up too, because I mean, we could like maps performance or like our, you know, even maps anabolic, where we're just focusing on the entire body getting strong, having the foundational strength mm -hmm. uh first. So I guess from my perspective, it was I was training uh people that would come to me that had already been, you know, building off of their strength, yeah. but now yeah. they're they're really hyper focused on, you know, improving this technique or uh, which is really what it is. It's 
it's the technique of it once you have uh you know that base strength so yep. you know we and we're always talking to the general audience of people out there right. so uh you know our wheelhouse is definitely in that direction and that's why we bring them up because they've taken the technique of it and fine tune it in yeah. a way that's like you know superior to what else i've seen out but, there but that matters yes you know because who we're talking to makes the world of a difference as far as like what advice is better or not if you've been strength training for a very long time and you just want to increase your vertical then i would push you in the de direction of technique right for sure but just getting stronger is going to carry over of course into vertical and yeah. speed that's the first you, thing you need to you do. throw a punch you gave all these analogies yep. of sports listen uh, i've never been a boxer um, but I guarantee you, uh, me hitting you today versus me punching you 15 years ago, you know, and, and I might have been, I was quicker, faster, which everyone knows speed is very important with punch, but I am much bigger and stronger and have more power behind me. You can anchor yourself. That's You're right. Grounded. And yeah. so similar, similar. It's, it's all important. Uh, but if you compare head to head techniques in any physical pursuit that is athletic technique is always, it tends to be King, but if you're just generally stronger, that works too. So how would you improve your vertical jump with strength squats, split stance, squats, mm -hmm. single leg type squats. And then of course you can train your calves. You can do explosive plyometric type exercises, but I'm going to tell you this right now. If you got bad technique, uh, it's it's going to make a difference, but not a huge difference. And to highlight that point you're making is I remember when Paul was on the show. I think he brought this up on the show. If not, we talked about this off air that uh, he actually took, and I believe he was a, a, a collegiate level athlete and and gained six inches. I mean, that's his, huge on his vertical by changing his insane. technique. In the, I wish I would have met him when I was in high right, school. Right in the same day. So just to highlight, yeah, you're not going to do that with strength. No, you can't. No, you're not. Your squats will not give you six uh, inches vertical in a day. You, maybe not even over a year. Probably. Sure. You know, it, not that. I mean, that's a lot. So technique does matter that much. Absolutely.